Hey everybody, it's Suzanne and welcome to my channel. Well, today is special day. It's what I've been talking about like forever and ever and ever. This poor little baby here. Um, actually, um, the origin, where this baby came from is like five to six hours away from my house and it took two weeks to get here. No! Yeah, it did. Somewhere, somehow, she got put in a corner, poor little baby thing, and she just sat there until Mama got on the, the, you know, the post office website and said, Hey, where's my baby? Well, it isn't quite as funny as that. I didn't use any choice words, so you'd be proud of me. <laughs> But I did tell them, when plan A don't work, it's good to go to plan B. So if I'm asking about a, and I gave them the tracking number and all that, and I'm asking about this particular thing, and it was paid for, there is no reason why it shouldn't have gotten here. And maybe in the future we ought to do COD, because that makes sure that that package got here if I had to pay for it. So it wasn't cheap to send, and of all the stuff I have sent and received, my goodness, you'd think that they would be a little bit more sharper. Well, you go to my post office, and you ask them, is there anything you can do? And they just shrugged their shoulders like, I don't know, what do you want us to do? Well, I don't know, a few years ago, we could just call somebody. <laughs> Well, it's not like that anymore today, really. Uh, so anyway, yeah, two weeks to go six hours. That's something. And I did say in the, my complaint, I said, gee, tell me where the baby is and I'll go up and get it. I was figuring it was in uh, Argentina or something. I thought, no, don't tell me that this box got put somewhere and it went like over the ocean. But uh, I don't think it did. I think it just got put, uh, you know, in a corner somewhere. I forgot all about it. And they want to do election ballots. Can you just imagine? They can't keep track of their own shadows. Ugh. Anyway, she got here and the girl that sent her uh, had her wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. Bubble, 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 bubble. Big bubble, little bubble, and taped and taped and taped. So... Baby was fine. The box was a little bent in on two sides, but it, not too bad. I have actually seen worse. I have seen boxes come split right up to where there's a corner, and you can like reach right in there and pull out whatever is in there. I mean, I've had had stuff like that. That's the worst. And but this one, the box was just kind of. Maybe when they kicked it after they read my complaint, they probably gave it a kick or something. I don't know. But I was nice about it. I didn't even swear or nothing. I mean, I was I was really professional, I think. And all I did is tell them if plan A don't work, go to plan B, for crying out loud. Meaning, if, uh, because I got all sorts of excuses. The trucks, the help, the this, the that, you know. The election? Oh, no, wait, don't say that. Okay, so to this, to that, to this, to that. I said, well, if, it, if it's the truck, I can help you there because you would just put those packages on a FedEx truck and away you go. I mean, the shipping has been paid for. So if you got to pay shipping, it, it's, it's the money that was paid for it and it's just not being shipped. So if the post office had to ship, and pay for it we already paid for it so they're not out anything put the darn box on a FedEx truck if you don't like FedEx then just go with UPS and it, you know the box would continue moving it wouldn't just be sitting there anyway they didn't like my plan B I guess or maybe they did because I got the baby so I guess I'm gonna look at it the fact that they looked at Plan B and they said, you know, she got a point there, so let's do that. So here's the baby. <laughs> oh. So I unwrapped all the bubble wrap because I'd be here till tomorrow. <laughs> she wrapped her so good. 
and tape and tape and tape. I had to cut through. And here's a little preemie baby. Preemie baby, just a little, she's a, just a little one. But I um, painted her and stuff, and she's a itty bitty. Look how little she is. Uh, where's my, I don't have my ruler here. She's not very, she's like 12, 13 inches, maybe 14. But, um, so I painted her, and this is how she turned out. And so she's a uh, um, preemie, and she's on eBay. So if you're interested, homeofsoaps at gmail.com. Okay, so you're going to, oh, and she's really neat because, you know, she's silicone, she's drinking wet, and she had all her fingers here separate, which is, I mean, sometimes they're together, but uh, on her, they're separate, which, you know, is hard to do. But now her toes, her big toe, and her next toe is separate. And then, oh, well, then the others are kind of together. But so she's drinking wet, and she has a nice little drinking wet system in there. So anyway, yeah, she's... I'll drop the price $50 today, too, on her. So, she'll be on eBay. All right. Here's the baby we've been waiting for. I'm so excited because, just because, a lot of reasons. But, uh, so, uh, and so I, I took her out of the box and, and got rid of all the bubble wrap. So, yeah, I didn't think you guys would want to see me cut through that stuff. So, let me just go like so. Yeah. So, I already saw pictures of her, so I know uh, what she looks like. So, I'm so excited to have her, though, because i really been wanting her. Okay, so here she is in her cute little outfit. So cute, adorable, adorable. Yes, you are a princess. She's a princess. Here's her castle. And she has little lace that goes down through here. So cute. And gold thread. Oh, you are just so cute. Here's her hand. Say hi to the people. So she's a little silicone. She's not little. She's like nine pounds. She's a silicone drinking wet. Let me just, well, why don't I kick the camera? Yeah, that's good. Do that. Okay, so. How's that? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, can you wait? Can you hardly wait? I can't hardly wait. Look at that. I know who made her. Um, well, of course I do. Uh, the artist is Donna Cohen. She's uh, Little Images. Um, Donna's Darling. Uh, Donna's Darling's Little Images. So she is the sculpt. Or no, let's see. Hope Mason, I think, made the body. And Donna did the head, I think. I think that's how it goes. I might be wrong. Don't crucify me. But uh, I think that's how it goes. And both are, are artists. And Hope Mason is award-winning. She's, you know, her babies are absolutely stunning, beautiful. And Donna's are too. Donna's very talented too. And um, so Isaac, actually, in the previous video, you saw me with Isaac. He's actually a Donna Cohen baby, and so is this one. So, um, anyway, what happened here with this one is um, she needs hair. And then from there it went to, well, I'll just, I'll just buy her. You know, I'll just get her. She needs hair, and um, so, and I wanted a little girl. Um, so, silicone, drinking wet, this size. I didn't want a big 12, 13, 
pound. I didn't want preemie. I have preemie over here. I like that in between 8, 9, and no more than 10. I like that, I guess. I think I'm liking that until I change my mind. <laughs> but no, I do like that. I do like that weight. Um, you know, nothing smaller than 8. Like that would be the lowest. And all of the babies are cute. But I like myself. Just my own preference. I like 8 to 10. That's my favorite weight. But I can love 11. Just, you know, don't tempt me. But I can love 11 or 12 or 13. Yeah, the babies um, need to be supported under the head. As you see, I have my hand. All these babies, they're poured in Ecoflex 20. And all these babies need support. It's just a natural thing just to go for the head and support the head. Because they will tear and that um, they are fragile. It's not for kids to play with. So, um, so shall I give you that much? <laughs> are we ready? Are you excited? Let's see. Should I tell you a story? <laughs> no, no. I want to see the baby. Okay, there's her nostrils and her mouth. It's cute so far, huh? You're cute. Yes, you are. You're just cute. I'm going to love you forever and ever and ever. You get forever babies. You know, some babies come and they're great and you love them and they're cute and have fun and everything. But then down the line, you can part with them. You know, they're... Okay, you probably lost the last bit of what I was saying and I don't even know where this cut off, but... We were at this part here. I know I was talking about bonding, but I don't know what left off. So, okay, ready? Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Aww. Just how I pictured her. I knew she, because I saw pictures, and I knew she looked like this. And she is just, oh, so cute. You are so cute. Look at that. And look at that mouth. Oh my gosh. You are adorable. Oh my, 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 my. How cute are you? Oh, I love her. She has a high forehead. We go get you some hair. We have no problem doing hair. Well, here's her hair problem. It's not really a problem. I don't have a problem doing hair, but... Sometimes, you know, it's the hair, too. I'll blame it on the hair. It's never me, right? No. Um, sometimes it's the hair. Um, no, for real, really. It's, it. you know, you can do a really good job with hair, but if you don't have the right hair. And then I learned, I like doing human hair. I do like that, but you got to uh, use a lot of it. Because it just, when you're rooting, it just, it comes out. So... You end up rooting, rooting, rooting. But anyway, so yeah, she needs some hair. But you know what? You are so darn cute. Oh my gosh. And oh, here's her gum. Goom. Gums? Is it gums? And there's her tongue. I don't know if you can see that or not. But she has a tongue in there. And gums. You have no teeth. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Now, some of the composition dolls have teeth, so, but these guys don't, of course. And there's her eyelashes. So, yeah, no problem doing the hair. I will not have any problem at all doing hair. So, there's her hair. She needs hair. That, and it's so typical. It comes out. It just does. Um, this looks like mohair. It's Delta Dawn hair, I think. And, um, yeah, so, anyways, yeah, I bought her, and she's got a new mommy. Mwah! She is so cute. She is adorable. I love her. So, I'll give her a new do. You want a new do? Yes. And I'll, and I'll bring her forehead down a little bit. Uh, bring the hair forward a little bit and um, She'll look really cute. She's cute already, but she looks like a baby that's lost all that 
hair that they were born with. <laughs> and then, um, you know how baby's hair falls out like that. And then um, new hair comes in and it's way different. So yeah, she'll get new hair and she'll, she'll like it. Will you like it? Yes, you will. Oh, she's so cute. So, okay, so that's the reveal on the new silicone baby. Yes, and we're going to do an outfit change. I actually have an outfit there for her. So the next video will be her first outfit change. And um, I'm not sure. Will I do her hair first? Yeah, maybe I will. I'll do her hair and a new outfit change. And... Um, right now I'm just going to sit and rock her and bond with her and um, I just wanted to share with you guys the new baby in the house, <sighs> baby in the nursery. So there she is, nine pounds. <laughs> and um, if you're interested in the little preemie, the little preemie is little, I mean as you see teeny tiny as you see compared to her I mean comes down to below her belly button or right to her thigh but she's a itty bitty and whoa she slid right off of there and I messed your hair up now and play with the babies and mess their hair up so um yeah so if you were interested in her, um, I'll send you the link. Just message me, or no, message, yeah. Just email me, Home of Soaps, and I'll send you the link to her on my eBay. And um, so anyway, yeah, so that's the new baby. And I'll think of a name. I don't know, I have so many names. And maybe a German name we were... We were talking about a German name, so like Sonia or uh, Gretchen or Greta or Hope, no, not Hope, uh, Faith, Hope, Charity, <laughs> yeah, Charity, how's that? Uh, no, so um, thinking of uh, something that's European, like German, uh, that kind of a uh, name. Not Hilda, that's my aunt, my Aunt Hilda. Oh my gosh. Maria, that's my grandma, Oma. Um, not that. Um, but um, another name that would be maybe Suzanne. Ha ha ha. Well, something German. So, uh, uh, you know, or in that area. So, seeing I'm from there. And I don't have one doll with a German name. So, I do have Elise. She's French. And Olivia. But I need something kind of German like Sonia. So, let me know what you think. Is Sonia a good name? And, um, uh, or maybe you have a good suggestion. So, Put it in the comments below what you think and um, what you think a new baby. And um, now I'm off to kind of figure out what kind of hair should she have. Dark, medium, like dirty blonde or brown or dark brown or blonde or what should she have. So I've got some locks of hair in my hair box and I'm going to hold them up to her face and see which ones kind of go with her complexion and I'll go from there. Okay now the other thing was I forgot to tell you was um, I'm making silicone babies now so um, I am kind of messing around with <clears throat> sculpting so I got some clay and that's kind of sort of where I am with the silicone part that's a long process but 
the next series of videos where there'll be like three or four to the series would be the uh, restoration and um, not zeroing in on any one problem but just kind of like a overview of it and then I'll show you how I work at the composition dial so that would be coming up to here in the next few weeks so but anyway I just wanted you to meet new baby girl maybe Sonia or whatever you think I'll, I read all the comments I try to reply to all so let me know what you think and um, thank you for watching and may all your dreams oh don't forget like and subscribe and don't forget um, yeah uh, the the announcement will be coming up here on on the winners of the Behringer kits the kits so um, okay I think that's it oh so much news today my goodness but uh thank you for watching and may all your dreams and wishes come true bye for now